All right. The data suggests that if you live to a certain age, you will achieve a high degree of well-being. Now, statistically, now, I mean, there are eight different age levels, obviously. And there's one age level in particular that if you reach this age, from that point on, you have a high degree of well-being. People ask, you know, do you feel good about life, good sense of well-being? You say yes. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I'm not there yet. <laughs> but the question is, the data suggests that if you live to a certain age, you'll achieve a high degree of well-being automatically. I want to know what that age is. Okay. okay. So this is all done through mirrors and smoke. I have no idea how they do this, but they find that to be true. Jeffrey, did you find that to be true there in Milwaukee? No, actually I don't, Michael. No, do you have a degree of well-being, a good degree of well-being? No, I have a, a degree in psychology. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a degree in well-being, actually. It's, a, it's yeah. the latest thing now. It's like wellness. I don't want to talk about wellness, Michael. Well, wellness, doesn't it bother you, the word, though? I mean, I understand people are actually saying your health. The health right. and wellness, but isn't health and it wouldn't be health and health then, wouldn't it? Health and wellness. Right, I would think so. Yeah. But isn't wellness health? But wellness is a way of looking at at, at health. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what field are you in, Jeffrey? Why am I telling you? All well, actually, I am uh, one of those who are uh, sucking on the teeth of the government. I'm oh. disabled right now. Yeah. Uh, but I used to. Uh, Spend, uh, I spent 30 years in Milwaukee Radio, and I also spent about 15 years as a uh, mental health uh, therapist. Not unrelated, I would say. Not at all. In, yeah, in yeah, radio. I when I was actually doing the mental health work, yeah. uh, they were called clients. When I was in radio, they were coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you work in radio, Jeff, in Milwaukee? Oh, uh, in Milwaukee? Yeah. Oh, WQFM. Ah, Rock cool. on Milwaukee. I worked at a, a number of radio stations, yeah. actually. Cool. WKLH being the last. Yeah, cool. Uh, Jeff, the data yeah. suggests if you live to be a certain age, you, you will finally attain a high degree of well-being. And what you know what that age is? <laughs> well, I'm not going to reach it, but I'd probably say 70. <laughs> I think I'm wrong. Jim, I knew the last know? hour's answer. What's that, that Michael? Did, did we, was there a limit or a number of years he could be within? It has to be right on the head, right on the money. Right on the money. Okay, 65 Six. is right. Yes, That's congratulations. Right. Thank you. Jeffrey. What was, uh, Jeff, what was your radio name? Uh, Jeff Peterson, or uh, at QFM, it was Mr. Midday. Mr. Midday. Yeah. We actually met a long, long time yeah, ago. Yeah, did we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't expect Was I nice? That. It would be, it would be as nice as you are now. Uh-oh. <laughs> a lot younger. You yeah. got more hair. All right, enough. <laughs> Jeffrey, this is Patty. Hi, Hi Patty. Two of oh. you, you are a team right now. Go ahead, you can talk more. Hi, Jeffrey. Yes. How are you doing, Patty? I'm doing pretty good. Great. How about you? I'm um, nervous. Just call him Mr. Midday. He likes Me too. Yeah, all right, two of you work together as a team and collaborate. And Jim Packard, what are those categories? Categories of current events, people, places, things you should have learned in school had you been paying attention, science, or odds and ends. Science or odds and ends. Yes, Jeff, what would you like? Odds and ends. Odds and ends? Does okay. Sound okay? Yes. Sounds good to me. All right. Uh, listening to the radio. Okay. Isn't oh, that no, funny? I'm, I'm supposed to get this one, I'm sure, yeah. right? Listening to the radio is the setup. Uh, a, quiet, I'm listening to the radio. B, boosts happiness and energy, or C, boosts happiness but depresses energy. This is a British study, by the way, of radio listening, but it's probably true here. Yeah, I would think. Yeah, listening to the radio. Is it A, quiet, I'm listening to the radio? B, boosts happiness and energy levels, or C, boosts happiness but depresses energy levels simply by listening to the radio. In other words, you get lethargic, but you're entertained. Are you liking B, Jeff? I'm liking B, yeah. Oh, so. we're in agreement. B is it. Yes, that's right. It boosts your happiness, and only if you're British, though, I guess. They have a different sort of radio than we do. And, Jim? One right, no wrong. All right. And uh, what's left there, Jimmy? Current events, people, places, school, odds and ends. Betty? Betty? School? School? Okay. Not a lot to think about here, Patty. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a lot of choices. Uh, is there mercury on mercury? Oh, boy. Ooh. Yes or no? Right. 
Doc, it over here. Yes, it's, yes, this you belongs know. in science. Yeah. Uh, what, do you, what do you think, Jeff? Jeff? I, I would Beyond think Mercury. there'd be mercury on mercury. Is there mercury on Should mercury? I Google it? No, no, yeah, please don't. Yeah, please yeah, don't. yeah. <laughs> please don't. Google free. Okay, my okay. husband's given me the no. What do you think? Oh, he is? Yeah. But you're used to that, It's a aren't rare you? earth element, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm so used to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to go with that, too. With what? <laughs> no. What, what are we going with? We're going with no, right? No. no. Yeah, no, there's no, you, no. <laughs> yes. All right. And there's, uh, on Uranus, there's, no, well, never mind. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to go into the Klingon stuff. Yeah, I mean, I want to start with that. Yes. <laughs> Two right, no wrong. Okay, what's left there? Current events, people, places, or science? Oh, yeah? Okay. Jeff? Jeffrey? Uh, uh, people? People, okay, these kind of survey results. Uh, percentage of uh, married people who think they could pull off a Hollywood marriage. Okay, percentage of um, people who are married themselves, they think they could pull off, you know, a Hollywood marriage, if one of them was a star. Is it 11%, 31%, or 51%? What a stupid question. Thank you. <laughs> Pride myself. They call me no, Mr. Stupid Question. Mr. Midday Stupid Question, oh, boy, Daddy, stupid question they call me. Um, I'm thinking the, I've been the lowest. I've been so long now. I... Yeah. What? Wouldn't you think the lowest number? I, I would think so, yeah. Percentage of married people who think they could pull off a Hollywood marriage? Mm-hmm. 11%, 31, 51? Oh, what are you of, thinking? I th- I'm thinking 11. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It's 51%. Oh, more than no, half of married people think, I can do that, no. Frangelina. <laughs> what do they call it? Who is it? Frangelina. Fragilina. I don't know who Fran is. <laughs> no, don't worry about it, though. That's only Partner, two Fran right and Ellie. one wrong. Yes, that's okay. We're okay. What's left there, Jim? Current events, places, science. Um, oh, science. Science? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, bird divorce. Problem. Divorce between birds. You know, they say birds mate for life, but they do divorce. <laughs> uh, and it correlates with one of the following. Does it cor- the correlate with A, spring plumage, B, shortage of grubs, or C, the weather, or weather stress. Bird divorce, or birds actually are forced to separate. Is it because of the new spring plumage? Is it a shortage of grubs? Or the weather? Bird divorce statistics. B, B or C, I'm thinking. Jeff, how about you? She's thinking B or C. What, what, can you read B and C again? Yes, shortage of grubs or the weather. Shortage of grubs. Uh, food stuffs. I, I like that one. I you like, like the, the food? Yeah. He likes the grubs. Okay, I'll, I do. I'll, I'll agree with that. You like the grubs? Mm-hmm. or what, Your instinct was the weather, though, wasn't it? Uh, my instinct was the weather. Yeah. And I think we should go with the weather. <laughs> because, Why are you giving me the eyebrows? Is okay, that related okay. to this question? Because or you, I'm reading some body language. Okay. Okay. You're, you're Your husband's right there I can't read it. I'm not. You're doing that. I can't see you. Huh? Yeah, okay, let's do that. I'll so you're saying that. what? I trust you. The weather? I think the I'm weather. going to go with C. Yes, the weather. There's more siring of, in other nests during bad weather or good weather. I forget which it is. Congratulations. You pulled it off. They won the quiz. Jay, what do they the want? Jeffrey, uh, when the weather turns um, from hot to chilly, you'll head up north in October for the Splash of Red Cranberry Highway Tour, including lunch for two from the Pittsville FFA and the Cranberry Science Class. Patty, your world-class coin collection will gain special distinction with the dazzling Silver Jubilee anniversary quarter designed by Nora Feldman and depicting George Michael Washington Feldman along with the immortal model E. Pluribus Punum. Both of you will enjoy the book Michelle Bachman surely intends to read one day, The United States Constitution, what it says, (laughs) what it means, from justicelearning.org and Oxford University Press. And when the chips fall where they may, repair to playing What Do You Know the Party Game, including the lively contestants and the all-knowing Michael Feldman bobblehead from Out of the Box Publishing, available exclusively at notmuch.com. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you for playing the quiz. Jeffrey, hang on for a second. Make sure you get that stuff. Thanks for playing. 
RI Public Radio International.